In this screencast, we're going to talk about magnification, specifically for converging lenses. What is magnification? The definition of magnification is the ratio of image height to object height. So written as an equation, we have m magnification equals hi over ho, where hi is the image height, ho is the object height. A height is positive if the object or the image is upright. And height is a negative number if the object or image is inverted. Calculating magnification. For the following examples, you'll want to refer to the document called Images Formed by Converging Lenses, which you probably did for homework recently. So we're going to start with looking at number four on the back side of that sheet. What is the magnification in number four? Well, listing our variables, we have object height of three, so it's positive because it's upright. Image height of negative three, negative because it's upside down or inverted. And we want to calculate the magnification. Substituting into the equation, which is really the same as the definition, we have magnification equals negative 3 centimeters over positive 3 centimeters, which comes out to be negative 1. What could this mean, a negative 1? The meaning of the magnitude, and the magnitude here is, is 1. 1 means the image is 1 times the size of the object. So the image is the same size as the object. The negative in the magnification means the image is opposite the orientation of the object. So it's inverted because the object was upright. The negative sign means that it got flipped and so it's inverted. Let's do another example. Take a look at number one now on the front side of the page. What is the magnification in number one? Looking at the diagram we can see that the object height is six centimeters and the image height is negative three centimeters. What would the magnification be? Substituting, we find negative three divided by six is negative 0.5. What does a negative 0.5 mean for a magnification? The magnitude has a meaning and the sign has a meaning. The 0.5 means that the image is 0.5 times the size of the object. So in our example, the object was 6 squares. 0.5 times 6 squares or centimeters is 3. And we can see that the image is smaller than the object. What about the negative sign? The negative means the image is opposite the orientation of the object. So it means it's inverted. It got flipped over. Another example, what is the magnification in number two? Go ahead and pause the video and calculate the magnification. Solving for M, we find a magnification of negative 1.33. What does it mean? Take a moment and think about what does a magnification of 1.33 tell you? What does the negative sign tell you? 1.33 means the image is 1.33 times the size of the object, so the image is bigger than the object. A negative means the image is opposite the orientation of the object, so it's inverted. And one more example, what is the magnification in question number three? Now this is a virtual image, so we might expect it to be a little bit different. The object height is positive 6, it's upright. The image height is positive 12, it is also upright, right here. And calculating the magnification, we find that we get a magnification of positive 2. A magnification of positive 2, what does it mean? The 2 means the image is 2 times the size of the object, so the image is bigger than the object. The positive means the image has the same orientation as the object, so it's upright. Can magnification be calculated from image and object distances? 
So far, we've calculated the magnification from image and object heights, but it would be handy to be able to find magnification from image and object distances because sometimes we know those distances, but we don't know the heights. Well, so far, we found in number one a magnification of negative 0.5. So here it is half the size, the image is half the size of the object and it's inverted. For that same situation, that same problem, the object distance was 24 and the image distance was 12. How could we use those two numbers to get a negative 0.5? If we divide the image distance of 12 by the object distance of 24, that would give us a 0.5. If we add a negative sign, that gives us a negative 0.5. And this is actually another way to calculate magnification. So we have two equations for magnification, image height over object height, or the negative of the image distance divided by the object distance. And you have to remember when di and do are positive and negative. An example, calculate the magnification in number three using image distance and object distance. So the object distance is positive three, the image distance is negative six. So remember, image distance is negative when it's on the same side as the object, to the left of the lens. And that's gonna happen when you have virtual images. Calculating magnification, we have the negative of negative six divided by positive three, which gives us positive two, as expected. In summary, we have two equations for calculating magnification, one that uses heights, and one that uses distances from the lens. The magnitude tells us how the size of the image compares to the size of the object. If the magnitude is equal to one, the image is the same size as the object. If the magnitude is less than one, the image is smaller than the object. If the magnitude is greater than one, the image is bigger than the object. The sign tells us how the orientation of the image compares to the object. If the sign of the magnification is positive, that means the image has the same orientation as the object, which usually is upright. If the sign of the magnification is negative, that tells us that the image has the opposite orientation as the object, which usually means that the image is inverted, assuming that the object was upright.